We were like lying there, and I was like, has anybody ever sucked your while well, eating ice cream? Uh, yeah, and I said, of course, I don't think so. No. No, and then No, I, and I asked, can I, you, you want to just wait five minutes? <laughs> you started making sounds, and I couldn't tell if it was because you were enjoying the ice cream or because you were enjoying the job. I was trying to be like... Mm, you know, you know, kind of. What was it? It was hard. It was hard to do though, because at one point I think you looked up and it was like, "Was that me or the ice cream?" Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, "That was you." And then I think you looked up and I was like, mm. <laughs> "I was like, now I don't know." What's the last weird thing somebody had stuck inside them? Ready as ever for today's episode. My God, I'm very. This is very, very special for me because I, you know, I bring on a lot of guests and uh, comedians and, you know, actors and whatnot. And today, today I have my favorite guest of all time. Sorry, everybody else. Um, Jefferson McDonald is on Step Infection today. Hi, darling. How are my you? My sweet <laughs> boyfriend. My sweet I girlfriend. <laughs> I'm mentally ill. I'm so excited mm, you're here. I'm very excited to be here. A yeah. uh, little nervous, a little nervous to be here. Why? Uh, I don't know, you know, cameras. Uh, You're used to cameras. Lights. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Am I in my light? <laughs> Am You're I used doing to it right? in a cave? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Before it started, you said um, that you look like Vampire's Kiss in this. T today, I'm very yeah. pale right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm becoming Nick Cage for Vampire's <laughs> Kiss. I'm sorry. That's what you're getting. <laughs> I, well, you've really got me on a Nick Cage kick. I, I wasn't really... I, I loved Con Air, but now you've really taken me through a gambit here with his movies. Yeah, do you like Nick Cage more than me now? I don't know what happened. I think that, uh, yeah, yeah, Vampire's Kiss. Well, I, you love that movie now. I've, I, have you seen that movie, Aaron? No. It's fucking, it, it might be his most unhinged movie of all time. Can you give me a, a Vampire's Kiss impression? I'll do, okay, yeah. <laughs> Elva? <laughs> Let's do yours. Yours is pretty good. Okay, oh wow, we need to turn around. Yeah, that's all I got. I thought the reveal would be good. important. No, no, the reveal was. It's a lot. You got to get a lot of whites in the tops of the eyes. Oh yeah, a lot of white, a lot of teeth. It's, it's <laughs> very odd acting choices in that whole movie. Yeah, it was very well. It's like express German expressionist. If ever, if anyone was a fan of Nosferatu, then you're going to be a fan of that oh, movie. Oh yeah, yeah, he's yeah, going. Yeah. He's going for something there. He's going for something. And it's Nick Cage, so you know he's really going for he's it. He's really going for yeah. it. Yeah. So we've we've recently uh, moved in together. We have. We have. We drove across the country, took Route 66 for the most part. We did, which you love because mm -hmm. you that's your style of... That's my style of, yeah, I love that music. Yeah, and, music. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. freezing cold. It was about two degrees the whole time. Yeah. And I did love how you pumped the gas every time. I went to do one time, you're like, what the fuck are you doing? You don't pump the gas. And I was like, uh, a real man? <laughs> Because I, I'm used I bring to pumping to the gas. I, I bring the, the gas pumping to the table. You pump, and do. you're out there freezing your dick off in your fucking sweatpants. And That's I what I'm good looking, for, freezing. I was looking at that dick in your sweatpants the whole drive. Um, I love my sweatpants. You got me those. I've never had such nice sweatpants before. I got you some rude sweatpants. I got you, uh, I'm good at gifts. You're really good at gifts. No, but you bought me a gift yesterday. He bought me a record player. Well, we got each other housewarming gifts. Yes, I got him a Nick Cage prayer candle. Yeah, I think this thing, this has got really out of control. It has gone out of control. I yeah. always got you a Nick Cage throw blanket. That's just his face. I was like, that's nuts. No, we can't. We're adults, so we got to have somewhat of an adult situation we're living in. That was a prayer candle already. I'm prayer candle is getting fun. out of control. It's nice. It is nice. And I got you a very nice record player. Little Victrola record player it's since like the record. It's sky blue. It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. It's well in the house. We listened yeah. last night. It was very nice. We did. we did. After we scarfed our takeout like big fat pigs. Um, mm -hmm. We've been, we, okay. I feel, I think the only thing I feel like, I'm going to bring this up on the podcast, that we're not doing well yet together as a couple. Uh oh. You wanted to bring, you're <laughs> no, here. No, no. We're going to bring this up here. Okay. No, because it's not bad. Bracing myself. We don't sleep well together. You are such a light sleeper that like my fucking fart woke you up the other day. Yeah, but also this is you uh, sleeping in the middle of the night, like just having these random spasms. I was like, no, darling, I'm are you okay? <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> no, but you told me that you are light. Explain why you're a light sleeper. It's, it's a fucking crazy story. Oh, well, I was, you know, I slept down that stairs. I was first line of defense on the farm. We lived next to a couple correctional facilities, very dangerous mm -hmm. prisoners in upstate New York. So my father, when I was nine years old, he gave me the handgun. He loaded, he put it in the cabinet, and he said, if anyone comes and we don't know who they are, they're trying to get in, you're the first sacrificial lamb. You know, that's how I interpreted it. So 
and I there was no security there. There were no locks. Like I had a window. No it was locks? cracked. They barely worked. Like these, anybody could have kicked these things in, you know. And I didn't want to die, so I was always sleeping one eye open down there. But that's you still now, because I, I and I'll try to like move lightly, and then you'll be like, "You okay?" And I'm like, "I." I I coughed. I'll, I literally, you did a, dr- a joke in the middle. Okay, of the yeah, 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 yeah. But you moving lightly. Let, let's be honest. What is this? Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, are you okay? Because you were like, you were throwing bows in the middle of the night. What was going on there? I don't know. I have bad dreams. Really? What was the I dream know, tonight? Last dream. night. That was know. a bad one. It was really was bad. Was it? Oh my god. It must have been bad. I did, yeah. then I get worried. So like then I feel like I can't move. So I'm scared. I'm gonna wake you. I don't want to wake uh, my well, sweet. Did. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can't help it. I can't help it. And I'm but trying I, not to mm. fart as much. I've been lightly farting. I've been only doing small farts. Yeah, but you let out a couple, though, so we've gotten past that. No, but I, 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 here's the thing. You wait for the big one? The big <laughs> kahuna's still on its way? Oh, boy. I've been letting just little... <laughs> So well, you woke me up with one a couple weeks ago. I remember that one. That was loud. You woke yourself up with that. That wasn't one. premeditated, no, though. That was a big one. Okay, okay. The blank has moved on that one. Yeah, yeah, Susan, yeah. <laughs> Susan's not been allowed in the bed. That's been the only other thing. There's I no room for Susan in the bed. Oh, hey, you in the bed. Uh, how many things can we have in the bed? How many things? I'm a, I'm a thing. <laughs> no. We had too Listen. many things in the bed. Well, first, of all, ass, you. first of all, you come and I, you have the 17 pillows. You're doing that. I know it's a nice presentation, but I don't really sleep with a pillow. You see me. I have one pillow under an yeah, arm by the end yeah, of the night. Yeah, you're Nick Cage under the bed. <laughs> yeah, in case you're yeah. under the couch. <laughs> you know what? Why don't I do that? I'll go under the bed. <laughs> And then you bring Susan back on top. Yes. I'll be fine. Then maybe I'll sleep better that way. Yes. <laughs> maybe that'll work. No, because you don't like the dog here and she smells. And she does smell. She stinks. Yeah, she smells like a dog. It's a dog. She smells, stinks like a dog. And that was only, she just got cleaned last week. I, I, the dog smell comes right back. I don't know. But you, case, you are a very clean man. Very clean. Like very I, clean. I am like I've got a sniffer on me. You've also got a sniffer, mm-hmm. but you have the cleanest teeth out of anybody I've ever met in my life. Really? You do Thank have you. ninety-eight <laughs> toothbrushes. That's not a joke. Yeah. And you, you never have a scent. Your dick mm-hmm. has never once smelt. Thank you, thank you. There you go, mother. You did, you did good. <laughs> my dick doesn't smell like cheese or well, whatever never, they like, smell even like. After like. What a are they smelling run. like out there? Are they musty? Like, musty. What's... There's some must. There's a, like a like a sour stench. It's disgusting. It's sick. But even like I've sucked your dick after like the gym or after like something. And has anyone never... ever thrown up on this podcast? <laughs> 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 you, you've sucked the dick after the gym. Okay, nice. No, yours. I'm saying I've sucked yours after the. the oh, gym. you've been out all day. I'm not talking about other guys' dicks. I'm talking about your dick. Okay, my dick. Okay. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we just your dick doesn't have a scent. I probably cleaned it right after the gym, though. You, you but you shower scent. like you got me this now. Every time he shits, he showers right after. Yeah, because there's still a lot of shit down there. <laughs> I've told you about my shit. <laughs> They're like thirty wipers. They're, yeah. Then I think you're cutting your shit off too quickly then. No, 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 <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not. Believe me, that's not part of my thing. I'm letting it all out. Steph Infection listeners, thank you so much for continuing to listen. And thank you so much for coming to see me live and coming up to me in the meet and greet lines and saying, oh my gosh, I love your podcast and I love listening. You have no idea how good that makes me feel. I work real hard at this goddamn thing and I'm very happy to know some people also love it as much as me. I just dropped a spring, summer fucking tour, and I want to give you guys a date. Here are my new Filth Queen spring, summer dates. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. That's where they all are. Or go to punchup.live slash Steph Tolev, where you can request me. If I'm not coming to your city, plop in your old postal code, Canada, or your zip code. And and if enough people message, I can come out to your city. April 18th to 20th, I'll be in Baltimore at Magoobie's Joke House. Insane name, but please come. April 21st, I'll be in Philadelphia at the Punchline. One night, one show only. Let's sell this fucker out. April 24th, I'm doing my filth show in New York City at LPR Le Poisson Rouge. Wicked ass venue. The lineup's crazy. Dan Soder, Jordan Jensen, Sarah Squirm, Derek Gaines. I don't know what to tell you. That lineup's nuts. Please come to that show. It will sell out. May 2nd, I am doing the Netflix is a Joke Festival. I'm headlining the main room in the Comedy Store, which is a big deal for me. I've never done this before. Please, if you're in Los Angeles or San Diego, make the drive. Make the drive. May 2nd. I'm out of breath. May 17th to 19th, I'll be in San Antonio, Texas, Sweating my nuts off. June 14th to 15th, I'll be in Austin, Texas at the Creek and Cave. Those shows will sell out. They sold out last year, so please get them now. I can't wait to come back. 
July 14th, I'm doing the Great Outdoors Festival in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, with Whitney Cummings and Burt Kreischer. August 22nd, I'm doing a one-nighter in Atlanta, Georgia. And then August 23rd to 24th, I'm doing Charleston, South Carolina. Please get tickets. These are all going to sell well. Winky, winky, get tickets. Thank you for all patiently awaiting this big UK drop I've been teasing everybody about. I am officially coming to the UK and Holland. Can you believe it? First time ever. Filth Queen Tour is going to be in Holland and England May 27th to June 1st. I'll be in Eindhoven at the Park Theatre May 27th. Amsterdam May 28th at the Comedy Cafe. And then I will be at the Soho House, downstairs Soho House uh, in London, England, May 29th to June 1st. So the Soho Theater, I believe it is, but it's in the Soho House. Come to these shows. Uh, when the hell am I ever taking a nine and a half hour flight? I'm terrified of flying now. Punchup.live slash Steph Tola for all these tickets. Thank you. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I want it out. So much. Why would I pinch I it off? I saw your shit today. You just like, because you ran in and were like, I got a shit. And I was like, what? <laughs> You hadn't flushed your shit yet. We have different shits. Mine are not, mine don't look like that. I looked at it. I don't know why I looked at it, but I glanced. Very brown. It was dark brown. It was. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a dark, dark log. Very. It was a log. I think I was jealous of the log. Yeah. No, that was wasn't that earlier? Because then I just mm. shat here too, and that was another four logs. I don't know. If this is. I don't know. I'm getting log ready for man. my UFC weigh-in. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm <laughs> dropping. I'm dropping logs. You are dropping uh, logs. What, you're not dealing with the logs? No, I, you don't want to know what's I going haven't on. seen, yeah. You're not going to see. No. We're not getting that. I'm not allowed to be on your side of the house when you're... Uh, because I don't need you to hear it yet. I'm, I'm really easing you in here. And I've, I've mentioned this before. I, I have, I, I fart and shit all the time. And I'm trying to like not... What part I'm of this time. is so audible though, you don't want me to hear? Yeah, it's like loud. Like when it's like plopping in so, or no, like no, the like, pro... Or like you're like, are you gripping? <laughs> I go, ah! <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you I like, scream shit. I forgot to mention that. If I don't scream at the top of my lungs, my shit won't come out. <laughs> that was me as a kid. That was it, definitely me as why? a kid. Bunked Very up? constipated. Same. Yeah. Very, yeah. Oh, oh, bunged up babies. Bunged up babies. <laughs> oh, that's good and shit. <laughs> Could I get it out of hell? Very bunged up as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Mm. I don't know. I like, I, got, I couldn't shit publicly. That's why. Were they coming out like little rabbit pellets? Like yes, that kind and then of I was thing. like, what the hell is that? Yeah, just a, two screams per pellet. <laughs> <laughs> just awful. Maybe we had really small buttholes. <gasps> Aww, Aww. <laughs> small, cute buttholes. <laughs> Beautiful asses. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I don't think so. I know my asshole is, yeah, some yeah. of the logs that have come out of there, I know. Have you yeah. looked at Susan's asshole? It's huge. No, Eric, I, I butthole. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's... <laughs> Have you not looked at it? It's huge. She's the biggest dog ass I've ever big. seen. It's yeah. always out. She's stretching. Her tail's up. She's okay. I've seen a lot of asses, though, on animals. It I looks know. like a normal, nice dog ass. <laughs> but the logs are big. Oh, she my. she delivers, like... She got your logs. Solid logs. She has solid <laughs> logs. Yeah. Yeah. If I ever needed to sneak one in there, be like, look how much I... Like, they could blend in. I know. I want to brag about you a bit, because you're on here, and I don't get ever... I mean, I brag about you on every episode, but um, you're very... Uh, you're very talented musician oh, thank you honey you're very you're very you're a lot like me on stage you're mentally ill <laughs> yeah i have problems <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy on the cruise crazy um did I, did I talk about sucking your dick on, the, on this podcast yet? In the, in the, in the song? I don't know. This is my first time here. I don't know. Erin, Erin would know. <laughs> she brought that little gem no, up yet? No, that. Well, I haven't talked about this. I did suck your dick while you ate ice cream on the road. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. It was, yes. I don't know why I'm like weirdly obsessed with having yeah. like firsts with you. I don't know what it is. Right. Because I feel like we, we both, in, in, where was it, Mexico, we both kind of started... We started talking about how many people we slept with. We didn't get numbers, and I don't want to know, and you don't want to know. And then I got upset, because I, I don't know why in my head I thought you was fucked way less. Like one person, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, you you're think? religious. I assumed um, it was less. Okay, okay. In my head. Yeah. In my head, it was around 50 to 60, and I know, don't react. <laughs> don't react to that, because I know okay. it's much more than that. But we are talking about it, and then I then now I'm obsessed with the fact that you haven't done anal, so I'm like, now we have to do anal. And now I'm like finding things where that you haven't done. So like, right. he was eating. And we ice still cream haven't. Cone. We still haven't. We're you know, the, my butt is the, jerky right now. We have to. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> it's a jerky butt. Yeah, we've had that for a few months now. We've had jerky butt. Yeah, we need the. That's butt all we've eaten for two months. That's the dear. problem. We've had a lot of jerky. Yeah, yeah. That bourbon jerky I got in Milwaukee is 
Wait, wait, <laughs> too good. Too good. <laughs> ass well, doesn't I have a bad like asshole. it. You see my asshole. My asshole's I beautiful. Like... Asshole. Yeah, yeah. I would. I could, I could do things with that. I could try. But again, I've never done that whole thing where you. The beautiful dick in the ass. I'm the yeah. insane thing. But, but now you're assholes. determined. I, I was just joking around, but you no, know. I'm now, yeah, yeah. Not but, the, <laughs> but the ice cream thing. So you were eating a blue bunny in, in the bed. Mm-hmm. And we, had just drove, we just drove all day. We were in, where were we? We were in Amarillo. Amarillo, Texas. Texas. And I was, we were like lying there and I was like, has anybody ever sucked your dick while eating ice cream? Uh, yeah, and I said, of course, I don't think so. No. No, and then no. I... And I asked, can I, you, you want to just wait five minutes? Because <laughs> so I didn't have dessert, and, you know, I'm not drinking, I'm, mm-hmm. you know, on the road. I just want a little dessert, mm-hmm. in the, and you couldn't wait. I could not wait. I had to do it at the exact same time. And then I, and I was really trying down there, because you started making sounds, and I couldn't tell if it was because you were enjoying the ice cream or because... You were enjoying the blowjob? I understand. I was trying to differentiate the sounds. I was trying to be like, mm, you know, you know, kind of. What was the It was hard. It was hard to do, though, because at one point, I think you looked up. And it was like, was that me or the ice cream? Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, that was you. And then I think you looked up and I was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, now I don't know. <laughs> now I don't know what's wrong. Now, I think we un- we might have unleashed something. I- I'm a little worried. That- well, 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 yeah. I'm like licking the ice cream. I can't talk. Well, well, I think. <laughs> Every time you have ice cream, you now you get hard. Or every time we're in bed, now you have to have a big jug of Jerry. Jerry was that Jerry? <laughs> of Jerry. You, you know, Jerry. You, you, you were, it wasn't ice cream you were looking. It was a man named Jerry. Jerry has to be in bed for now. Ben and Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't walk down the ice cream section. Just rock hard now. <laughs> I never wanted this to happen. But it does. Yeah, don't mix sex and food. Don't no, do it. Don't do it. But yeah. I want to get, you have a lot of body stuff. So I, this is so cute. You came so prepared with your little notebook. Well, there's a lot of body stuff, and I, you know, this was early, so I didn't know if my brain would be working, and it's not, so I thought I'd write so, a couple of things down. Yes, and you, you, so you were born and raised in a farm, so let's, that's yes. where a lot of this stuff comes from. You yeah. had a lot of, you had a different upbringing. Mm-hmm. Homeschool. Yes. Homeschooled, yeah, yeah, from fourth grade till I went to college. So I can, I came to college green, <laughs> very fresh off the farm. You, my God, were you wearing overalls when you went to college? Uh, like boots and the hat, the bolos, you know, we were doing that whole game, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Yeah, wearing the shit kickers and the spurs. I would just dress, I would dress like a real freak on the farm. There was no one around. Yeah, you know? well, it would not matter what the fuck you wore on the farm. Who's, who's going to judge me? And grandpa, you know, he was an actor back in the day and he had this whole wardrobe of stuff. So he would give us, you know, the British pith helmets. You know, we'd be wearing those and I'd have a machete out in the field. You know, it was always, I was like either dressed like Lawrence of Arabia or it didn't matter. It didn't matter. No. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a long time ago to homeschool. Too long. Maybe too long. I don't know. I don't know. Did all your other siblings, okay. were they, were they as long or longer? Longer because I actually went to public school for, uh, till third grade. So, you know, I saw what that was about, and I was getting involved with the sports. I love the okay, sports. you love the sports. You're good at sports. I'm good at sports, but they wouldn't allow me to play after I was homeschooled. They actually wouldn't allow us to participate. Yeah, which was a shame oh, because you... we had all the boys in our family. This was not a large public school, Romulus Central School. Okay, you know, yeah, there was yeah, like yeah. 30 kids a class and, you know, Jeez. maybe a graduating class of, what, 40, 50, 60. There was, wasn't a lot of people yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, we had a lot of kids in my family, seven, Mm -hmm. well, eight boys, one girl. So, you know, (laughs) they had to disband the football team (laughs) eventually. Because they could have let us just play. It was like, just let the, you know, homeschool kids. Let the homeschool weirdos play. We're wrestling pigs. Like, we can take down people (laughs) easy. You wrestle a pig? Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Did you win? Mm, Sometimes. (laughs) They're pretty tough. (laughs) Not all the time. Pigs would win? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How are you wrestling a pig? you, Are you just going go from behind? Uh, well, you're, we're squaring off. You don't want to. You can. Mm, it's hard to square off because they're gonna dart off. So you got to kind of get at them at the side, maybe. And you got to really. You just have to get an animal off its feet. If they're on their feet, they've got a lot of purchase, a lot of leverage. But if you can get them on their sides, that's when you can maybe make. Would the pigs get mad? Of course. Oh my god. <laughs> they don't want to be wrestled. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, they hate it. They hate it. But generally, they were too dangerous to do that. Yeah, okay. they'd be out living in the... Yeah, you, we didn't mess with them. Once they got to a certain size, you weren't wrestling the pigs anymore. <laughs> yeah, very dangerous. Very sharp How, teeth. Oh, no, yes. I've, mm-hmm. I've, I've learned mm-hmm. this. The Gareth Reynolds episode, he, he got bit by a pig. How big... How, like, how much do they weigh? Is a pig getting up to? Hundreds, hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah, well, I mean... Gosh. Over 250? Pig? 
biggest oh yeah 300 yeah. pig no i think you could get they could get a lot bigger than that but i mean typically when you're you know about to take one to slaughter you're not letting them get to full full size yep. yeah can you i think you need to tell the turkey story because this is fucked the turkey story yeah the one okay so we're driving across the country we saw a bald eagle good omen it was it was it was going great our, omen it was great going omen. our direction <laughs> but then you told me uh, the turkey story but your experiment Oh, with Rodney. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that story. Rodney the turkey. It's fucked. Well, you got to realize that a lot of the meat that we're eating, they, they've been basically scientifically experimented on and bred in certain ways so that yes. a lot of these chickens and turkeys, they just don't really stop growing until either their legs give out and they're walking on their nubs Ew. or something worse Ew. happens to them. Yeah, it's really bad, you know, because we've uh, think about it. What Monsanto has done with all the corn and all of the things that all the diversity of things we used mm -hmm. to have. Now we just have all these mutant chickens and mutant turkeys that we're eating. So you have to really search hard for for good uh, food. And you. Yeah, because you, yours was sustainable farm. Yeah, that was bread. the idea. Chicken, that was you, yeah, it was all yeah. pasture raised, yes. organic. All the yes. ruminant animals, they only got pasture basically, and the chickens were out there eating some grains too. But they also had a lot of bugs and anything else they wanted to eat out there. Who knows okay. what they were okay. doing? Okay. You know, <laughs> dying half the time. Hawks coming down. It was insane. Uh, rats, everything. It was just a war zone, and I was the only one raising twelve thousand chickens by myself. Twelve thousand. Yeah, that was the most we ever raised one Jesus year, all in pasture. Right. Yeah, I think about five thousand made it. Yeah, the rats got a lot. <laughs> oh my god! No, no, no. Well, no, my mortality rates were good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you the, keep a tally? Oh yeah, I had a book, a notebook, but I would fudge a lot of the details because my dad would take a look every day when I'd come in, and I'd leave quite a few off. There was a pile out back where you know some that didn't make it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Okay, so truth can come out now. Yeah. <laughs> So Rodney. Rodney was an experiment. Well, there was a guy, uh, he was a massive man. I told you, Rodney, yes. he went to our church, and I'd, anytime I'd see this guy, I'd be like, that guy could like, he's a one-man wrecking crew. The guy is like, if you just put armor on him, he was RoboCop. He yeah. was massive. He had to have been, I don't know, he was like 20 feet tall, 700 pounds, <laughs> just a monster of a man. Biggest so man we thought, is. let's let a chicken, no, a turkey, just keep growing. Let's see what happens, and we'll call him Rodney. We'll see if we can get as big as this guy. Well, he started to get there. This turkey, I think when he was fully dressed, was about 50 pounds. I want to say... That's uh, huge. Yeah. What's an average turkey, like 15, 20 pounds? Not even. There you go. That's for like a, okay. a good size family. Okay. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the turkeys, we would sell them in New pounds. York and they wanted like a nine pound turkey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 pound turkey doesn't fit in anything. You're not cooking that. No. Yeah. You have to like cook one leg at a time <laughs> to fit that Jesus in your oven. Christ. Yeah. It was disgusting. And it was so tough. The meat was, it was like chewing on shoe leather. But did you say it was mean? He was like, Rodney was like fucking beating up the other turkeys and shit. Well, and yeah. Just... Cause he got so aggressive. He just started going around and everything was like two feet shorter than Rodney. So he'd see the little chickens and he'd just start pecking them in the head and killing them. So I hate Rodney. R Rodney was mean. Rodney's bad. Rodney did not subscribe to our peaceful organic farm values. <laughs> so Rodney had to go. Later, I've okay. never seen like more swollen red meat. Like Ew, that I got a I turkey. Picture, I, I picture Joe Rogan. Yeah, it was like eating that, Joe Rogan. Yeah. It was like shoving <laughs> Joe, dressing Joe Rogan, trying to shove him in an oven. And he's still like, yeah. buy my new brain pills. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to take those today. That's why maybe I'm That's not why a sharp. Okay, yeah. get in, let's get into your stuff. You have a lot of stuff. All right, you want to start with a little, uh, I, I got to show you these poison ivy. Okay, pictures. let's get your poison ivy. So I asked you what, what bodies have you had, and then he starts jotting things down. Like, you've got a lot of stuff. Well, when you're growing up at a farm, and I mean, you're going to get ringworm and all that stuff right away. Just you, 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 We all had ringworm and, you know, rabies. Everyone was dropping. You had rabies? Uh, well, I think so. Well, Michael did for sure. And he probably you got bit by something? Uh, yeah, we all got bit by a couple things. What, like what? Yeah. Well, otters and, you know, dogs <laughs> and uh, raccoons. You got oh, bit by a raccoon? Yeah. They were, we had pet baby raccoons. But oh, they, pet baby raccoons. <laughs> uh, they were cute. And then we like the released them in the barn and then they started biting us. And then oh. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, no. They're in that pile. They're, the they're in the pile in the back <laughs> with the chicken. It's a nice pile. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, well, here we go. Wait, so wait, explain the Yeah. Okay. When I was a kid, I don't know, I must have been nine years old, eight years old. I don't know. Clearly, I can't tell how old I am from these okay. pictures. 
I, at one point I got a rash on my chest. I was out weeding, you know, we were always doing chores around the farm oh. and I got a little rash and it was really itching. So I asked my mother, M mother, what is this on my chest? And she's like, just spray it with this. She gave me some kind of oil in a can. I thought it was like Pam. I don't know what the <laughs> heck this was. I was just spraying it and, it and I just started stretch. I don't know why I never asked my dad. He would have been able to identify it, but it was poison ivy. And about a week later, I just turned into some kind of a mutant. And so like the spray like made it spread worse or something? Yeah, because it was an oil-based spray that my mother gave me. She's like, try this out. And then I woke up and I was just covered. And I looked and like... And you were like, scra like bad, like bleeding? Like scratching so bad you... Oh, I'm bleeding all over. I, like there wasn't a crack in my body that didn't have a lump of poison ivy on it. Your yeah. dick? Oh, covered. Covered? Dick and balls? Yeah. Well, you yeah. love playing with your dick, so probably it was. What are you talking about? I was a kid. I wasn't taking showers. I didn't know that I was covered in oil. Yeah, so, yeah, I was just <laughs> okay, let's see. I was just taking a leak like any normal kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, turn yeah, it yeah. into that. You told me, me you fucked play with a my pile dick and of... Balls. <laughs> you told me you fucked a pile of leaves out back of the farm one day. This was before that. I'm young. <laughs> I'm a little innocent kid. Gosh. Your mom cannot listen to this episode. Uh, yeah, mom. Turn it off now. It's getting dark. <laughs> I was actually on the phone with her just outside. Yeah, she she got she was giving me some good stuff. Okay. Do you want to see these? Yes. Here, I do. just take a look at this. So anyway, I looked like a monster, and my dad convinced me to take a photo shoot. I didn't want to do it, and he made me do these ridiculous poses outside the house. So here you go. Take a look. That's what I looked like. Oh my! <laughs> Woof. Oh my god! Woof. Okay, this is hilarious. Now that one. pose. This pose is crazy. It looks like creepy. It's very like it's creepy. Very sexual, kind of. I don't know. Well, yeah. This don't doesn't make it even sexual. look I'm a like kid you. There. This is crazy. Yeah, I don't know what's oh going on. Oh my there. god. It was bad. It That's was bad. insanity. Oh my god. I was yeah. I was in so much pain, and I remember my mother still would insist we would go to the grocery store on making me come with her. And I was so self-conscious. I would wear a hat. You know those hats, the trucker hats that had the little mesh that you could pull yeah, down? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'd pull those down over my eyes and wear a bandana. And I would just walk oh, around like that in the store. Crazy. Crazy little kid. Yeah. Because oh I God. thought I was going to stay that way. So how long did this, this last for? It this must have lasted insane. about a month. A month? Yeah. That's way too long for poison ivy. It just lasts like a, like a week, I think, max. No, it takes it about a week for it all to come out. And then there's oh. a week of really itchy. Well, you got to think that I didn't probably bathe for the first week. Okay. So the oil was spread all over my body. Yeah. Then it was a week of them turning into their little pustules. Uh -huh. And then it was a you know, a couple weeks for them to finally clear up because it scabs over. And then I had scab face yeah, for a while. Yeah, I couldn't go face. out with yeah, scab yeah, face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you're homeschooled. Where are you going? Um, I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, you going? Yeah. the sheep were looking at me funny. Like, don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to wrestle this pig today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he looks I, like a pig now. Did you? <laughs> you do actually kind of like a pig. Did you uh, hear when I got poison ivy? I was told that every seven years it comes back, but I never got it again. What are you talking? Is so that chicken that? pox? Someone said that with poison ivy. Is that Canadian poison ivy? Maybe. maybe is it's that, different up there. Maybe it's different. Every seven years. <laughs> Every seven years. <laughs> That's an old wives Every tale. Se yeah, I never, I, never was, I had it bad on my legs, but I never got it back. Yeah, yeah, you city people have all sorts of weird theories about stuff, don't you? A city folk. Leave us city folk. <laughs> Every seven years, it'll return. <laughs> what, what is it? Some ghoul, grim reaper, eye yeah, poison yeah. ivy. Seven years. Oh. What else we got on there? Let's get... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We got some good stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, what do you want to hear? More. More? Give me the juice. You have a whole no you have a bunch of notes down here. Yeah, I got a lot of things that happened to my brothers, you know. What, so that was you. That was the worst thing you ever had. Poison that ivy. was one of the worst things that ever happened to me, yeah. Because you've never had, you've no scars or anything on you. No, I got a lot of scars from my broken leg. I had a real oh, yeah, bad, broken bad broken leg, leg from the yes. car wreck. We were coming back from the hospital, and my mother was overdue with Matthew. She was always... Overdue well, with somebody. pumping out a lot of kids. A lot of kids. Yeah. A lot of kids, yeah. And they're all massive, so they're all overdue, you know? So they just kept growing. We were like, we don't want to go out there. There's a Rodney's in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything on the farm was a Rodney, just really getting overgrown. But Joe was the, you know, the biggest. I mean, I was 10 pounds, 10 ounces, so I it's broke my big. collarbone on the way out, you know, just warming it up for the others. <laughs> it's like, you're welcome. <laughs> Made some room down there oh, for you. God. That's messed up. That Sorry, mom. Fun. See, this is why this is why we get along so well. Yeah. We're both sick in the head. Yeah, but I was. We are sick in the head. We're very sick in the head. But I told you, Joe. And you've met Joe. I met Joe. Big right? head. Big Joe. He was twelve pounds one ounce when he came out. That's a big boy. 
Yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. big boy. Set the record at the hospital. I was pissed. <laughs> Was, Pull me was, back in there. Fine. Pull, Pull me, me back, back in. I'll keep growing. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. Just put that umbilical back in there. God. Yeah. No, the Jeez. worst. Okay, so, yeah, this was disgusting. Um, because we were homeschooled, my dad, all these harebrained ideas, he made us watch my sister being born. So I saw it all. So you at, at the house? Or at the hospital? At the house would have been funnier. Yeah, but no, we were at so it a... Takes you, so how old are you when this is happening? Probably. I think I'm still covered in poison ivy, yeah. probably. I don't know. I think it was 10. Okay. Uh, yeah, 10. Well, how old is she? Yeah, she? So it's like eight years younger than me. Okay. Yeah, so I must have been like eight, nine, something so like that. So you guys Around are then. in the hospital, down by the feet. We're in sort of, what are the midwives? Where do they work? It was sort of this clinic okay. where these yeah. midwives would sort of be. And my mom said that she had to prepare her own meals. Like she brought the food. I was like, did you bring your own bedpan? Like this yeah, sounds ins this? insane. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. She was basically setting everything up. And my okay. dad, his job was just, of course, to be like, we'll have the kids watch. It'll be real educational for them. <laughs> and I remember my grandma was there, like my mom's own mother. Uh -huh. I was like, she's going to watch the birth too. And you know, there was no protesting. You're a kid. So we didn't have any say. Are you standing or sitting? I feel like, I feel like it's like a choir. It's like, like you're rows. there, spread your legs open, and we're just, me and Michael are sitting there, you know, like, get ready. You're going to watch your sister come into the world. And um, <laughs> I remember like she was crowning, I think the term is, just like yeah, kind of it? bloody thing was coming out. Uh-huh. And Also bizarre that you're seeing your mother's full vagina like this. It wasn't good. I didn't want any part of this. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I didn't want to be Michael's there. Michael's like chomping on the baby. Like, hey. Oh, he loved it. He loved it. He was having a grand old time. He's like, oh, it's my little sister. Um, so she comes out still in the uh, amniotic sack, apparently. So I don't know. So they had to release her like from Alien, just sort of peel her out of the sack. And you remember this vividly. I remember being ushered out by my grandma who couldn't take it. She was like... Get him out! <laughs> oh my God! But the damage had been done. Was your mom screaming? Oh yeah, it's a birth. <laughs> well, it's a natural birth. You know, I, I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot going on. But so they brought us back in. They're like, okay, let's have them. You know, let's give them the full experience. So they usher us by mom's side, and she's covered in sweat, and there's blood, and there's the bloody baby there, and there's this little pan, and there's. They give us some gloves and they say, look in there, look in there. And it's just the placenta laying there, you know, flopping look around. in there. And so they said, go ahead, play with it. And my <laughs> brother, he just dug in there. My gosh, he had a good time. He was wrapping the umbilical cord around his arm. He had a good old What time. the hell? You never did this with your <laughs> sister? This is fucking crazy. Mucking around the placenta in there. What were you, what did you do? P Touched I did, it? I did this. I fulfilled my... <laughs> I was like, is this good enough for me? Is it, homeschool learning takes it to the extreme. I think we have a, a book or maybe a video in high school where it's like, this is a baby. And it's like, a woman's like, ah! And then you see for a second and you're like, it's born. You're no, fucking holding the placenta like it's fucking Play-Doh. Yeah, we all, we have, well, we, we, I, I, I'm almost a doctor. I'm almost qualified. I, at this point, I think you might be. Yeah. That's insane. Do you think you would let me give birth to ours? Could I so, put the little cap on and... <laughs> I just look over Come and you're on. like, oh, the placenta. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Like, Save this. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is fun. It, right in the ninja. Let's drink it. <laughs> People do that. With protein powder? Yeah. Mm, it's thick. Thank I'm not eating it. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. God. Sorry, it was too vivid, my childhood. <laughs> No, yeah. the idea of my placenta being in a blender and us drinking it is disgusting. That is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, these are, you wonder why I'm a light sleeper. Yeah, <laughs> these are the things that I have <laughs> jostling around in my head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like holding onto this table like this. <laughs> like, you're like, I'm Help. drinking. <laughs> oh my God. Is there... And you're not in therapy. <laughs> No, not yet. Not yet. Not Do yet. we have to bring that up? Come on. What? I think I'm doing all right. You want me to be in therapy. I never said that. You said yes. you already were. No, I was. I need a new one, but you want me. I think you want me in therapy. I'm just supporting you in that. If My you jealousy that. issue. You want me in therapy. <laughs> I want you in therapy. Okay, sure. I want you in therapy. It's bad. It's bad, huh? It is bad. Okay, so get, get some you therapy. You know it's bad. You were there on the ship when I almost threw that woman over the edge. Oh, the magician's assistant. <laughs> yeah, she almost didn't make it. She was very close. Very close. Very close to going over yeah. the back of the ship. <laughs> Disappear. <laughs> Pacific's large. <laughs> um, Have you told that story? I might have. I think so. I think I talk about my jealousy a lot. I'm very open about it. How you doing with the jealousy? Is you think it's getting is it getting better? No. 
<laughs> We've just scratched the surface. No, no, no. I'm getting a little better. I think if I feel better about my body, I won't be as jealous. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 But you're gorgeous. Like, what oh, are you? What are you trying to do? What do you? What, what do you? What do you want to do? I'm gonna get blush right now. Yeah, don't, I'm playing footsie with you right yeah, now. Stop. You are. Stop. All right, Aaron, name. close no, your eyes. Stop. I have, to, <laughs> I have to maintain my rough exterior. Oh like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> rough exterior. <laughs> I know there's a soft underbelly. Oh, under you've there. seen the soft underbelly. It's oh, all you yeah. see at all. I'm very. Yeah. I'm very. I I'm can't cheating. eat an ice cream in peace <laughs> <laughs> without seeing the. <laughs> <laughs> It was like this, okay? Okay, um, okay what, what else you got on there? Oh, gosh. Well, I want to hear the otter bite story. You, you saved that for me. You didn't tell me that. Oh, the otter bite story. Yeah, because you said the oh, when my bit. brother yeah. got bit by the otter. Oh. I mean, mainly what I remember is I came home and he like, just had a hole in his hand. It was a hole. It was just the whole hand had all kind of a hole. And I just asked him what happened there. And he oh, said, "Was he mucking around the, with, with in the water? Like, where, where, where are you with the otter? I'm confused." Well, his buddy had a dog, and his dog got in a fight with an otter under a truck, apparently. And okay. so he decided to go separate it. But being, you know, Michael, he decided to go in hands first. You know, not the old kick method. I mean, anybody <laughs> would be like, just kick the otter, kick the dog, and try to. But he was like, here, let me separate him with my hands, my valuable hands. Well, that otter took a chunk out of him. You know, the size of it was a hole. Yeah, it was a hole a in hole. his hand. Oh my god. Uh, the infected bad must have an otter bite. Well, when I saw it, it didn't look good. It didn't look good. <laughs> but anybody, anyway, so they took the otter to the county because they had to examine whether or not it had rabies. Because they had, you Did know, they kill the otter. Well, he had killed the otter. Yeah, he had killed the otter in the process because it was so aggressive and it wouldn't detach from the dog. He had to kill Did the, dog the otter. Die? The dog was fine, actually. Oh, the dog was fine. I, I was really upset was with fine. how this was going to end. But they so were is dead. Yeah. Yeah, so the confrontation with the otter. But they weren't exa able to examine whether or not uh, the otter had rabies because he had, <laughs> you know, m mashed its head in with his hand that had already been bitten off. I don't know, in the blind Michael rage. I love Michael. I just, the, the um, image of having, seeing an otter with just no face is completely. <laughs> faceless <laughs> otter. Yeah, with the, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, okay, speaking of animals. One of your biggest early brags. Pete is not a supporter, is it? This is like no, this is no. not a good Pete <laughs> podcast. Yeah. I'm sorry. Trust me. I love animals. I like right truly really try to protect you, them. You I babysat love Susan all weekend. You bonded. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just you know when you grow up on a farm, you're gonna see things. Well, uh, tell us about your your big brag. The fastest. Oh, I'm the fastest chicken gutter probably in the world. Let's just expand it there. Let's wow. lay down the gauntlet. If anyone wants to, I mean, we could throw a couple right here. I just have a chicken I would contest. like to have a chicken cutting off. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So you, as a kid, this is what you had to do. Explain, because this is this is some fucked up shit. Yeah, it is. Um, well, because you guys would have to, they didn't just raise the chickens. They had to fucking gut them and kill them and pluck them. and. Yeah, we had a processing plant right yeah. on the farm where we'd bring them in and everything would happen there. Yeah, they'd be killed, little kosher kill, slice, slice, bleeding out upside down. You they, don't hold them when they're bleeding out. They're, they're no, they were in a cone. They were in a cone. Uh, I don't think I want chicken after this. No, you sh yeah, you shouldn't eat any. I, I don't know what people should eat that's healthy, but you really should be going to your farm if you want to find healthy meat. Yes, you really should okay, be. Okay. And this was really good stuff. I mean, the farmers would come to us for the good stuff. We okay. had the good stuff. Okay. I mean, because I was singing to them, raising them right. You know, it was singing it was a them. nice life right up until the, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? You're giving them a little massage in the morning? Absolutely. Come You're on. Not. Would you touch the? Would you pet them? Yeah, to get them out of the way from the gator. They're trying to, you know, those animals are so dumb. The chickens are. Uh, gosh, they just wanted to die any way they could. They did? Mm, mm hmm Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. you would have to gut them. So you slicey, slicey, hangy, hangy. Yeah, slice, neck, you know, they go in the scalder, then they go in the plucker, then they come out, and then it's my turn. Slice the neck, take the head off, you know. But the part that we time is from the part of entering the inside, like, whoosh, that slice in, get everything, and slice the anus out. Anus? The, the anus. <laughs> you the said it the, like anus. The anus. That all you, that's how you pronounce it. Is that better? I was like, is that actually how you say it? Anus? Anus. So wait, you get in, yeah. get the guts, and the anus all in one pull. All in one pull. AWOP. Yeah, all, in, all with one pull. <laughs> that's, the, that's the scientific term for it on the farm. Now, my, my sister, Becky, you know, she clocks in around seven seconds, too. So I think we have to actually have a little competition. Oh, really? Once and for all. That's Are you right. wearing a glove? Uh, you could. 
but you don't have to because oftentimes they would rip anyway because they shred on the uh, interior bones of the uh, of the ribs. So, so you would. So I would typically there. wear a glove and I would put band aids here because the bones would go right up your fingernails. I mean, you're going fast. Seven seconds. You're getting in there, baby. You're getting in there. This is how he fingers me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was the moment when she knew. I was like, yeah. hmm, what do you call yeah. it? Chicken cutting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chicken cutting. Seven seconds. What's our time? I got you there. And <laughs> Oh, I come fast. It's pretty you. fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's you can thank the chicken gutting. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm surprised because you're so, with your hands, you're, you, you're a penis and you can't ruin your little... Fingers. Hands, penis? What, what was penis. going on? Pianist. Oh, pianist. <laughs> pianist? My name pianist. pianist. You just said penis. I, I don't said know. Pian I mumbled it. We're talking penis, but penis. Oh, okay, okay. Because you're always scared of it getting your hands all like fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get the hands fucked up. So that's why I wasn't. Well, I was dealing with a knife. I was dealing with very sharp <laughs> knives. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, there was no concern for that. And then the funny thing is I would go to my piano teacher and they say, don't play football, don't play anything with sports. And little did they know, I would, I would say, I'm um, playing with incredibly sharp <laughs> knives. I, I'm cutting every fucking day. chickens yeah. faster than yeah. anybody yeah. on I'm the planet. I'm chopping trees down with <laughs> <laughs> chainsaws. Like, you know, like I'm probably going to die before my hand. My hands will be fine, but I'm going to get clocked. They are nice. They are, you are nimble with those fingers the, well yeah yeah I, i'm not trying to abuse them too much except in my foot <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> what are those calluses from <laughs> it's my <really> girlfriend <laughs> It's very rough up there. Is, yeah. he, is he box? Is he at the gym? No, no, my pussy's strong. Yeah, strong, He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get a grip in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. That's right. I'm roughing him up, sandpaper. Yeah, you're, you're, putting on, you're putting on the white of the powder before you go in there. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> Band-aids over my finger. This is worse than gut chickens. A lot of bones up there. A lot of bones. A lot of teeth. Ew, what if there was bones. bones up there? I know how to deal with it. You get it out of there. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of experience with that. I'd get those in seven seconds. They'd be out of there. Okay, what else do you have on this? Oh, lots. Let's yeah. go. We have bedtime. Okay. Worst death? What do you want to know? No. With the, okay. Uh, Sickness? No, the worst. Poo-poo painter? Joseph the yeah. poo-poo painter? Yeah, tell me. Yeah, that one. What was the poop one they told me yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to clarify the details on this with mom. Joseph was a bit of an artist as a child. And I don't know how this happened, uh, but we used to, we would go to collect Joseph and I remember the first time it happened, I came in and it was Like collecting just, from his bed, his crib. His crib. And I would go in and there would just be a mural of shit. And they were sort of designs and you could see something in there that looked promising perhaps. And he'd just be waiting for you with his hands like this, like you know, excited shit. for you to get him. And also partly proud of the artwork that he'd created <laughs> up there. And I just remember being like, can't deal with this, get someone no, else. That's, that's yeah, a smell. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. helped raise all these kids. I had to. Yeah. Who else was going to do it? Yeah, you, <laughs> you were in there. I was the changing, oldest. You were changing butts. It's interesting. I didn't do too much changing of the butts. Okay. Yeah. Well, you did more like. Yeah, because the sh I didn't love all the shit aspect of changing. Yeah, well, that's diapers. the main thing, I think, with changing butts is the shit. Yeah. So, but I would take care of him any other time. I was okay. mostly, but I, I did have to change a few. Okay. I did have to change a few. Yeah. And we would do the diapers that you don't throw away. Oh, oh you'd wash them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't fuck. love that. So, would yeah. you have to rinse the poo out? You sort of rinse it out, I guess. Yeah. You'd kind of slaw it off and throw it in the, I don't know where the shit went. Yeah. In the but garden. It sounds like you're like, where you're like cleaning go? off a plate in a restaurant. You're just like putting it into like the green bin. We had places for, we did 220 acres. So, there were piles for all this. There was baby shit piles. There were, you know, a lot of other piles. piles. A lot yeah, of what, piles. You're just like, other piles? What were those other just otters, but you punched in otters? Yeah, yeah, Michael's <laughs> otter pile. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But those, those otters, shh, leave our otter pile out of this. <laughs> well, I asked you what the worst body thing you've heard yesterday, and you said, um, what was the thing about the, the, poo, the poo puddle or something? Oh, the manure pits. <laughs> yes, the manure pits. The manure pits, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's another. There's another name for those. The manure pits. But I no. That was just the worst way to go. I think that was one of the worst ways to die. I think. It's, yeah. We had some neighboring. I didn't know them personally, but you know, a lot of farmers are always getting caught in their equipment or a wood chipper. Or, you know, things were always happening to people or oh. tipping over on something. But one of the worst ones was when this kid fell into a manure pit. So how? What do you mean? So it's in the, in the ground. It's in the ground. It's like the size of a pond. They're big. Oh. They're big. 
and that's where all of the dairy cows they just slow all that shit off and it goes right into this big pit just shit just shit okay yeah and um if you get near it the toxic there there's methane and ammonia and hydrogen sulfide coming out of there you'll just pass out and this kid tried to save his friend and it was in the, pit. the gases like knocked him out and then he fell and drowned in the pit too and uh, two kids drowned two kids in the poop pit yeah and <laughs> Two kids in the poop poop pit. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sad. It's very sad. It's funny very sad. way to go. It's like, a funny way to go if it's not you and it's or not anyone your kids. you know. Yeah, not yeah, your kid. Yeah. Did you know these kids? I think we sort of knew. Like they were like, you know, Neighbor three families kids. removed. We knew what street they were on, oh but you know, we hadn't hung out with the poo kids. Well, that's that's a horrendous. And then fishing them out too, then you're more poo. It's so much poo. And identifying the body. Uh, it's like, is that yours? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. It's my poop poop boy. That's so gross. It's so gross. That's bad. And can you get that stench out in time no. for the funeral? No. Because you, you know that smell them. when we passed by that, oh, that feedlot farm. We were start gagging. That was bad. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the steaks y'all are eating, folks. Poo poo steaks. Like poo poo cow Pe farm Kids steaks. are dying for these steaks. They are. There's gotta be. Did you have? Did a lot of uh, farmers have like no fingers, like missing fingers and stuff? Missing, tons of missing parts. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That was always a concern to me. I uh, I was really worried about something getting caught in something. I can't believe no one in your family had that. You guys all have your fingers. It's really unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Nine Michael was the closest boys. to losing something. I feel like he must be missing something. Maybe a toe or something. A you toe seen. or something. Yeah. I mean, I know he broke his ankle coming off, but now. That all fused back together and he can still go. Fuse back together. Well, he didn't go to the hospital for four months. He walked around on a broken ankle. Yeah, and let it heal on its own. Now that is tough. Like that's, that's a man. Crazy. That that's those are the kind of men we breed on our farm. <laughs> well, it's also psychotic to do that. Slightly probably. psychotic. Go yeah. to the hospital, get it fused. Get a fuse. Get the cast. Get it put back together. Yeah. Didn't you have something that you left before too and it fused? Didn't you have a good knee thing or no? Oh, well, what, you mean when my leg broke? Yeah. No, it didn't fuse. It just the bone slipped because I kept fighting with my brothers. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I think so. Oh, or when like my bone, I put my bone back in my leg. Yeah, what the hell would you put your bone back in your leg? Well, you know when you break your leg and then it was just stuck. My foot was stuck in the back seat of, I was sitting right behind dad who was driving. So the van tipped like three times. And my leg, I was in shock. I didn't know, had fractured in the, the uh, fibia. It was popping out of the leg. Big scar. You've seen that scar, yeah. right? I've showed you. And uh, I didn't realize at the time. So when we were all upside down, all I knew was that I could just hear the screams and, you know. Three times looped over. Three full loops, yeah, in the 15-passenger van. Land upside down. Everyone's had a seatbelt on. Everyone had a seatbelt on. But you don't know who maybe got knocked out or what's happening with the family. So and your mom I'm was pregnant? Oldest. My mom's overdue with Matthew at this point. We had just come from the hospital for a checkup with him. So we're in the pasture, upside down, because this lady had come at us head on, right? So my dad swerved over, which was great, because uh -huh. if we had gone head on, then who knows what would have oh happened. You know, somebody would have plopped out the window. So we were there, and all I can think is, I gotta save my family. I gotta save my family. I gotta. I'm the oldest brother. I've got all this responsibility. I gotta do something. But I get my seatbelt off, but my leg is stuck. So all I remember doing is just tugging on my leg to try to get it out. So I keep pulling on it, keep pulling on it, keep pulling on it, and finally I pull it back, and there's just a stump there. No, 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 there is not. Okay, so what? I pull my leg out. I was like, but what the hell? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. So I pull it out and at that point I guess I've taken so much time that the rest of the family is out. So I get out and my dad is just yelling at me and you know, he's like, You really oldest son, what a dud. <laughs> Didn't save anybody. No, he's just kind of you know, he, he had high me. expectations for me. Jesus. I really let him down. I was like, Sorry, Dad, I thought I'd save people. Just so I'm crawling it. out and I just remember trying to step and of course the leg was just collapsing, not supporting anything. Oh, so I knew God. at that point that I had to ask dad for help. I felt very ashamed. I was like, sorry, dad, I let you down. <laughs> my leg's broken. I just, that, I remember feeling shame because I couldn't help That's my family. That's crazy. And then they brought me over and, you know, we were laying out in the rain and praying and 
I just remember during the prayer, my sister was laying on my leg and the shock was wearing off. And I was like, Becky, Becky, <laughs> get off my leg. How old were you? Crying. I must have been 11. Oh my God. 11. And so what happened was Praying. they took me in, they set the bone, and I had the full cast. Okay. And within eight days, I was up fighting with my brothers, racing with them, and I the let the bone slipped. So I go into the doctor and they're like, your bone is like this. You know, it's supposed to be like this. What were you doing? And of course, I didn't know what to say. I, was like, I don't know. But I just kept fighting with Michael. And, you know, so finally the bone slipped. So then they had to go in and put the pins in. Oh, is he pins? Yeah, but I got them out and they gave them to me because I said one day when I'm older, I can swirl my martinis with them. And, and do you have the pins at the house right now? They might be. I think they're in a box at home. I got to bring them over. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the pins. They're nice. They're nice pins. You put them with the Bible. That's right. In my corner of the house. <laughs> in the in the Bible corner of the house. The Bible, yeah. Uh, that's fucked. That is. And did you know, yeah. So nobody else got injured from the, the wreck? Actually, yes. Uh, Patrick, who was right behind me, had his leg and calf muscle was really messed up. So he received sort of a similar impact, and he got bashed in the face really bad. So you'll see, there's a picture of me. This is all black. And, and the leg, but uh, it's very funny that nobody cared about Patrick because mom was back in the hospital and I had the broken leg. So Patrick, I think even had as much pain as I did, but no one cared about him. He just got <laughs> lost in the mix of siblings. So he is, he's really scarred from just no one giving him any attention at all, even though he was limping and all messed up. So Aww. sorry, Patrick. I feel bad. Yeah, just That's for scary, Patrick. but your mom was fine with the baby. Everything, nothing happened with her. No, thankfully, Jesus there was Christ. no issues there. Yeah. Uh, so, it, yeah. so and instead of calling that still didn't have the baby. That didn't, wasn't I enough to jostle. jostle. I think still had to be induced with Matthew, which is wild. So you are at the side of the road, full accident. You're in pain and you're still like, let's pray. Well, <laughs> I was just Did nobody laying call there. The police? The police were coming, okay. ambulance is coming. You know, this okay. is that 10 minute period yeah, yeah, of yeah. time okay, in between okay. where all the cars and everybody's stopping and we're in a field laying in the grass. Yeah, 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 okay. And you know, I, I'm sure either my dad must have led a prayer and I just remember laying there being like, well, I can't do anything any now. So I guess, you know, I just closed my eyes. And I remember being in so much shock that I felt like if I die now, I'm good. You know, oh, that's shock. There's a wonderful feeling with shock. I mean, <laughs> if, yeah, it's, I, Obviously, I didn't die, and I wasn't even yeah. close to I'm dying. Glad he's I'm glad. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but have you ever have you ever been in shock and felt that? Not that bad. Okay. No. You don't feel anything. I've been in uh, one time. Yeah. I thought I was going to die, but it, it had. It wasn't shock. Well, no, I guess so. I, I I like I slept on a rock and I like winded myself so badly, and I was in this like rock encampment, and I was a kid, little kid, and Jess tried to get me out, but I was like, uh, 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 and then I couldn't cry because I couldn't breathe. And so my sister had to run back, like, because we were really far away from the cottage. She had to, like, run back to my mess and get my dad. And they was, like, carrying me out. And I was like, ah. <laughs> I was like, thought I was going to die. I was so stupid. <clears throat> I was fine. Any residual effects from that? I mean, no. I <laughs> Maybe I hit my head and I didn't realize. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm normal. <laughs> you didn't start painting with poo or anything? No poo painting. No poo painting? No, no poo painting. There's no poo painters in your family? No, my family was, uh, no. <laughs> no? No poop painters, no praying. No praying on the side of it, no praying, period. I prayed at my grandma's house. Oh. Did I tell you why, I don't, why I, I'm not religious? Uh, lay it on me, refresh I think I've said it before, I'll say quickly. I used to pray as a kid. Mm -hmm. my, baba, my grandma would make us sit at the end of the bed and we'd put, put our hands like this and put our, both our things. And he'd go, gentle Jesus, meek and mild, look upon a little child. God bless mommy and daddy and Jess and grandma, grandpa, Bob, dad, I was going to say. Very sweet prayer. I know. And then I'd say, and my, my grandma would be like, okay, you know, pray, say something that you don't, pray for something you don't want to happen. Mm -hmm. And I go, I pray that nobody in my family ever gets AIDS, cancer, or lice. <laughs> and they got them all. My, <laughs> pretty close. My sister had lice so bad for like four years that I was like, God, is, God doesn't exist. And then my grandma died of cancer, and then my dad had cancer, and then everyone had cancer. I was like, I prayed to, I asked for three things, Jesus. I asked for three things. But they didn't get the one thing. No AIDS. 
So you're kind of, so I don't know, you might religious. have to throw the lifeline there. Kind of so religious. So read me the book. So you're 30, like 33% religious. <laughs> it's <laughs> called it the book, too, the Bible. Read me the book. Read it to me. Chapter one. Um, Chapter one. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out immediately. I've tried reading to you before. You love reading to me because mm-hmm. you know I can't read. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. There's a part of you I think thinks I can't read because he brought all these books. We put them all up in the house. And you're like, you read this? I'm like, no, I read that. I, I read nothing. I, I told you I read a menu and I read it well. Because <laughs> there's pictures. <laughs> Picture book. I want that one. Yeah, that's the meal I want. Yeah, but when you do the typing, do you do the full typey, typey? Typey, or you do the, are you doing the, are you pecking? I think I'm pecking. You're pecking? You're just. <laughs> Look, I wasn't homeschooled. We peck. Um, you do the pecking. don't peck. That seems like a homeschooled chicken thing. Wow. Wow, yeah. Wow, is that us. what you think we all are? Wait, wait, we, have, we have to wrap this up. I'm sad. Wait, what else? Do you have any other crazy ones? What's going on? Oh, on well, yeah. Oh, tree fell on my head. Poison ivy, a sister What's born tree shit fell on pit. You, oh, you that was just them. when we had the chainsaw and we wanted to do a surprise for dad and <laughs> I cut a tree down and it started coming my direction. And I ran away, but it landed on me still. It uh, yeah, that never was the same. <laughs> uh, we don't have to get into that. Yeah, well, we can't. We, yeah. Well, we have the oh, have... The, the guy who murdered his family. That's the worst death, isn't it? When oh, someone's yeah. killing you and you realize they're a murderer and you know you can't have justice. <laughs> that's not the question. What was the way? I didn't get your worst body story. That was what's well, the grossest thing you've ever heard. We'll have to end on that. Flea infestation. What's the grossest? Ringworm. The grossest thing you've ever heard, the grossest body thing you've ever heard that, that stuck with you. The grossest thing I ever heard. you just said a lot of gross things. Like, what's the worst thing you've ever heard? Worse than everything I've already yes, just yeah. said. Do you have anything worse? Anything worse than all of that. You told me one, yeah, you said last night there was one about a, didn't you have one about a dick? Wasn't there a dick thing? Oh yeah, but your dick falling off? Oh, the. You mean the dream that yeah, I had? Yeah, the dream, no, no, but you're scared that if a vagina ever was like the movie with teeth. My dad would always scare us with stuff like that. Yeah, vagina dentatus or what's that thing? Yeah, when he the would teeth tell you vagina. that? I feel like he did, yeah. He told us a bunch of nonsense. Where'd babies come from? When mommy and daddy put their underwear in the wash machine. It was like, we see the animals out there humping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, why are you lying to us still? <laughs> yeah, we see, did you see a lot of animals fucking? All what, the time, every what day. Has, what animal has the biggest dick? Um, mm, horse is pretty big. Well, yeah, no. Besides the horse, we know horses. Besides disgusting. the horse, yeah, okay. Yeah. What does a pig dick look like? Uh, it's like long and thin, so it's about the circumference of say a finger, and then it's got a corkscrew at the end. A pig does bizarre, too? I very only long. Ducks did. It's only ducks. No, no, no. Pig has a corkscrew ending. Yeah, that's ew, interesting. It's, like, ew. it's not a pretty dick. You don't want to see that dick. I'll tell you. Uh, you're saying I don't want to suck a pig's dick while he's eating ice cream? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so hey, doctor, uh, can I get the pig dick? My girlfriend loves that. No, I don't think you do. Um, I will say one of the <laughs> weirdest ones, though, is if you see goats about to bang. This is one of the most fascinating ones. The courtship is very interesting. Uh, the male goat sticks his dick, it comes out of the sheath, and then it pisses on its own head and kind of licks it a little <laughs> bit. And the female goat sees that and is like, mm, that seems intriguing. Mm, peepee head. <laughs> peepee head. <laughs> peepee head. I'm horny. Give me some of that peepee head. <laughs> so he keeps doing it until I guess he's out of peepee and he's like, keeps doing it. Not just one time. No, oh, okay. happens a couple pissed. times. Yeah. And it, you know, because they're like this, right? And it comes out. And if they just bend, it's aiming right at their head. It's hard to do this with puppets. Yeah, I, I got to bring yeah, a little yeah. puppet next time. You should bring a goat puppet in, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bring a goat. I, and I, then we'll have a whole I got a goat guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring a goat guy. Pee pee so head, and then they fuck. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, the cow, they just have like that straight dick. Straight thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, we've learned a lot today. Uh, I was thinking about that though for like the Rocky Mountain oysters. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, cause I saw this show, The English, where they're eating them, and all the the semen's like coming out as they're. Ew, eating it's still them. coming out. Yeah, I just think you gotta jerk the cows off before you. <laughs> You get empty the balls at least. This is how we're ending the podcast. You gotta <laughs> jerk the cows off first. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you make it rocky. Come on, Amarillo, Texas. Do it right. No, but this was just in that movie, and that was over the top. That's I don't know much. if that's 
I don't like that. I, I don't. I, I don't, don't want. Like it. I, we don't want jizz to begin with. Now, cow jizz? No, thank you. People eat those are delicacy. They're oysters. Where can everybody find you at Jefferson for real McDonald? What is your Jefferson it, McDonald for real? Yeah, number four on Instagram. Yes, he's got. You have new music coming out. You already have a new. You have a bunch of new signals coming. One's already out. Bang Bang's already out. Bang Bang's already out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Every um, two, three weeks, we'll be releasing a new single. Yes. Yeah. So follow him. Follow him on Spotify, Instagram, TikTok. Buy his music. Get it. He's great. See him live. See me live. Come on. Come on out. This was fun. Thank <laughs> you for doing fun. it. Thank you, darling. Thanks for having me. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. I'm too cheesy at the end. I'm like, eee. <laughs>